Have you ever seen an image online that you wish you could turn into a multicolor SVG file that you could use with your Cricut machine, but you don't want to spend any extra money on any design programs? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that for free. We are going to be using the free version of Cricut Design Space and also the free version of Canva. Now, you don't need to use Canva in order to do this. You can also pick an image off of Google Images. I just thought it would be a lot of fun to work with Canva today. If you're new here, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. And if you're interested in crafting and Cricut tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell so that you don't miss a video. So let's jump over onto the computer. If you don't have an account with Canva, you can quickly make one at canva.com. It's absolutely free and you can use this user-friendly design program for thousands of projects. When you open up Canva, there's a variety of different templates you can use. I'm just going to select Instagram post, but it doesn't really matter which one you use. I'm going to go over to elements and you can type in any image you're searching for here. I'm going to type in unicorn and you can scroll down and look at all the different images. You can also filter out your designs by going to the top and you can select photo or you can go over to graphic and then you can also go to the top and I'm going to choose static for animation because I don't want an animated image and then press apply filters. And I'm going to select this cute little pink unicorn here. So I've added my unicorn to my canvas and I'm just going to stretch it out as big as I can. And then we're going to go over to the top right and press download. The file type right now selected is a PNG and that's what we want. And I'm going to press download. Once your file has been downloaded, you're going to go into design space and open up a new project. And we're going to go over to the left hand side at the bottom and click on upload. And then I'm going to select upload image. Now you can browse for your file here or you can drag and drop your image. I personally find it easier just to drag and drop. So here are my files and I'm just going to drop my image of my unicorn onto the screen. And then I'm going to select complex image and press continue. Now the first thing we want to do is get rid of our background. Right now under manual our magic wand is selected and we're just going to click on our white background. I'm going to press apply and continue. Now you'll see here we have the cut image and we also have the print then cut image. The first thing I like to do is save the print then cut image so I know what the completed image is going to look like. And then we're going to go back in and also save it as a cut image. So first I'm going to click on print then cut. I'm going to call this unicorn one and then hit upload. Now we're going to do that same process again. So I'm going to go over to upload image. I'm going to drag and drop that unicorn back over here. Go to complex, continue, and we're going to remove the background once again and press apply and continue. But instead of saving it as a print and cut image, this time we're going to save it as a cut image. And we're going to call this one unicorn two and press upload. So now in my upload files, you'll see I have my completed unicorn here. This is just a print then cut image. It does not have different layers on it. And then right here, I've uploaded my very first layer. Now we are going to repeat this process once again. So we're going to press upload image, drag our unicorn over, select complex, continue, remove our background. Now we've already saved the outline of our unicorn, which I'm going to call the gray layer. Now I want to save all these pink pieces. So in order to do that, we're going to remove our gray layer. We're going to click on that. And then we're also going to remove all these black lines as well. So we're going to click on each of those. And don't forget those white little dots in his eye. Now, if I zoom in here, you'll notice a bit of the outline from our image. So I'm going to go over and grab the eraser and I'm just going to erase those lines because we don't need those. Few more lines here. Now to double check to make sure you have everything erased and deleted other than the pink layer, you can click on this preview cut image and you can look at your screen to make sure you haven't missed anything. 
to me this looks good so we're going to press apply and continue and this time I am going to save this again as a cut image and I'm going to call this one unicorn 3 and then press upload so now we have this gray layer we have our pink layer and now we have to do this a few more times to get our other colors in as well so upload image we'll drop our unicorn in complex continue so this time I want to erase everything except for our black layer so use your magic wand and we're going to delete the background our gray all the pink pieces And I'm going to keep the little dots there because I don't want to cut those out. We will be saving the white dots for his eye afterwards. So I'm going to press preview cut image. And it looks like I have lots of little lines here that I need to erase. So I'm going to grab my eraser. You can also adjust the size of your eraser over here. You can slide this little dial. And now my eraser is bigger and I'm just going to go over my screen and erase everything except for my black lines that I want. I'm going to press preview again to make sure I got everything and I still see some lines there so let's get rid of those. We can also zoom into our image so we can see it better to make sure we've got everything. And our black layer looks good so let's press apply and continue. So once again we're going to save this as a cut image and we're going to save that as unicorn. Four. I think I'm on number four <laughs> and press upload now we're going to do this one more time just so we can get those white eyeballs so upload we're going to drop our image complex continue and we're going to erase absolutely everything except for those white little dots on our unicorn's eye and once again I'm going to grab my eraser here and get rid of these extra lines. All right, and our eyes look good, so apply and continue. Save this as a cut image, and we're going to call this one Unicorn 5. Now we have all our layers here for our unicorn, so I'm just going to select each of these, and then we're going to go over to Add to Canvas. And everything is looking rather big here, so we're just going to shrink this down. And now let's pull apart all our layers so we can see each layer. So there's our black layer. There's this one and the eyeballs are over here. So this image right here is what we want our unicorn to look like. So let's change this background gray. So we'll go over to the top beside operation. We can change the color over there to gray. And then we can grab this layer here and we're going to place it right on top, kind of like a puzzle. And we'll go to the top and let's change that pink. You can adjust the colors however you want. It doesn't really matter what color you choose. And let's grab our black layer here and we're going to put this on top and try to line it up. This is where this image up here is helpful because you can see where these black lines should be placed. There we go. And then we have these little eyeballs here, but we're going to turn those white. So these are now white and we can stick them right on top of the eyes here. And now we have a cute unicorn SVG file. So you can go ahead and play around with it. You can change the color again if you want. Maybe you want a purple unicorn. Maybe you want the gray to be a different color. So you can select that layer and change that maybe to a light blue. And you can have a lot of fun with this. And then you can go ahead and cut your different layers out. Keep in mind this first image here is just one single layer. So you would use this for print then cut. If you were to change this to just a basic cut image, what would happen is your machine would just cut out the outline of your unicorn. So what we did here was create different layers and so we can cut out different shapes. So we can cut out our black layer, purple, blue, whatever you want and you can adjust your layers accordingly. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.